So, just uh, before starting this session, just I want to introduce myself. So, myself, Raj Shekhar, I have 12 plus years of experience in IT. So, this is a development as well as the trainings. So, coming into the, our uh, today's session, so this session related to Android. So maybe uh, you people are joined here around 10 people. So you know about this word Android, right? So anyone have any inputs on this? What is Android? What you know about Android? Anyone? Just you can unmute and uh, if you have any answer, can someone? Yeah, I think someone has uh, sent in a chat. So it's a mobile OS operating system. Okay. So just I'll write the your words. With I agree with your words. Mobile OS. So it's the same operating system. Someone said this operating system. It is correct. <clears throat> so operating system. Then someone said that uh, developed by Google and JetPlanes. Okay. So you copy this word. So it has many versions. Okay. It has many versions built on Java. Okay. Okay. So I got good inputs from the team. <clears throat> so why I'm collecting this information from you? Because nowadays it's not a new word. Why? Because almost 80% of the people are using Android devices because everyone who is having now a smartphone, either it could be Android or iPhone. But iPhone are in our India, iPhone are using in between of 10 to 15% of people, but remaining other all using Android. Even if uh, someone has iPhone, they may have the spare of Android phone. So, you are not clear my voice? Now it is clear? Now it is clear? Okay. I hope uh, now it is clear. So, this is fine. So, here, this is a first time coming into this Android world. So Android is an operating system. First word is it's an operating system. And the next is the open source. Open source. Next it is development environment. Simply with words, general with general words, I'm giving you the definition of the Android. So that uh, easily you can remember the definition of Android. So Android is an operating system. It is a open source. Using this, we can build applications. Initially, applications are for mobile, but Right now, applications are for mobiles, tablets, watch, cars, lot of, lot of equipments are coming nowadays. So as day by day it is going on, lot of electronic gadgets are coming with Android operating system. So next word, I want to write one more thing. Linux kernel. 
so it is run on top of the linux kernel so what is that each word in definition just you first you remember the only four words but each word i will give elaboration of each word so android is an operating system using this we can build applications it's open source always it is running on the top of the linux kernel means in each phone is there any linux means no it is internally or the, the architecture of the android as built on the top of the linux kernel linux kernel is the similar part of linux which like uh, see my right now my laptop is running with the windows operating system like uh, someone has the mac mac uh, it's a uh, operating system is a mac os and someone has using linux like that kind of operating system it's a top of the same similar architecture it has built so when we are discussing about a uh, architecture of android there we will discuss in detail of linux kernel how it's a uh, built on top of the linux kernel so that we will see this so then uh, next thing here so simply here we got a uh, idea android is a operating system it is uh, using this we can build mobile apps that suitable for mobiles tablets then uh, watch cars autos lot of electronic gadgets it's running on the top of the linux but who is the owner for this so right now this is acquired by google but there are some other people in the background so that we will see in a, our coming session because we need to understand the android history on the history we can go in detail means from where this has started and how this acquired by google like those kind of details will discuss there on the this so next here so i uh, have one question to everyone here so why you want to learn this course any specific reason for anyone why you came for this course anyone okay job law building app. next any other answers from anyone so kotlin is a new language to explore it okay next any other answers from anyone for the first one who has here said someone said the job so job so if i learn java can i get the job or not so obviously yes if i learn java or if i learn python if i learn dot net any any technology if you learn because every technology has opportunities in a market but why you want to go with this so there are few specific reasons for this so means apart from this see first one i agree with your answer that is a job so someone said that sir kotlin is a new language 
so we need to explore it that is that also i agree with you because it's a new language so we need to learn uh, new things on this that also i agree but here so if i i i already learned uh, java then i am working on java so only i can work on that java but here what i what i'll do in case if i learn android uh, so either it could be uh, with the java or kotlin so what what is the differences between those uh, will come uh, after few minutes but if you learn this android so there is another uh, opportunity you can build your own applications like uh, if you go in a play store you have lot of things so that uh, duration part and all i'll uh, come with after few minutes i'll come with that point so here if you can uh, learn this you can build your own applications and you can publish those applications in a play store so if i publish applications in a play store what are the benefits for us what are the benefits for us is there any benefits if i po if i publish apps in a play store obviously yes but what are the advantages so one advantage is you can improve your skills on a coding style one is that improve the skills only improve the skills is enough no apart from this the next is money exactly so how that money will come how that money will come i i have already uh, published five applications then there there is a adsense so this adsense word we used in web but here in android terminology we will say that is ad move so google has giving an opportunity to post ads on your application but instead of mobile application can i build my website like i want to uh, create a one simple tutorial simple tutorial like uh, uh, i know android i know java i know python then i want to give those all tutorials in my application so instead of mobile app can i give in a web application yes obviously you can give but which one is best which one is best i opt for the mobile app why because in a mobile app case with zero users you can allow the ads with even though today you published a new application and that also you can use i mean you can enable the ads but in web application cannot why because in a web application there are a certain rules if you have this much of traffic to your website and content should be unique some some conditions rules are there from the google once you all are satisfied then only that should be ads will come on your website until you not satisfy those conditions never those ads will display so but in mobile app with zero users you can start this so if i started with zero users how much i can earn for the month what is my income for the month suppose i started my as uh, app with zero user just today i uploaded the app but how much 
I can earn from this. Suppose in a month, I got 500 users. So these 500 users every day for 30 days, 30 days, everyone are using 15 to 20 minutes. 15 to 20 minutes, my application means 30. Average, I can take 15. So 15 into 30, it is a around 450 minutes, means seven, eight hours. So seven, eight hours, they spend my, uh, they spend time on my application. So on that, if they spent that much of time, how much I can earn means? I can earn minimum five to ten dollars. Five to ten dollars in the sense, what is this? Right now, it's a dollar is around eighty rupees, eighty two rupees. Ten dollars means it is a eight hundred rupees. I I came with very minimal means all uh, minimal figures only. Why? Because maybe you can earn more than that also. So that depends on the area, like users, all of the users are from India. Sometimes all of the users from USA, all are from the UK. Depends on currency, depends on place where the users are logged in in your application. That dollar and the value will increase or decrease is the, this. So, and the, Depends that uh, someone said that depends on uh, downloadings. Yeah, that downloadings. Just uh, just I consider here downloadings are 500, right? So that with that worst, I'm going with this. Maybe instead of 500, maybe you your tutorials and everything, whatever the content you given on your app, that is very good. Then instead of 500, it goes one zero. It added one zero, one more zero means it's 5,000. Obviously this, 800 will goes to 8,000, right? Maybe 8,000 are more than that also. So that possibilities is there. Depends on your content. Until you give the good content, so that application should be user-friendly. What is user-friendly means? See, uh, I cannot go and I cannot guide who install my application, right? So once they open the application, they need to understand my flow of application easily, easy flow easy to understand. So if you follow such kind of, uh, apart from that, along with the easy flow, and it's a lightweight, lightweight application, and a good user interface, UI UX, it's a good user interface, and a good understanding, lightweight, and the most important thing is the secure. It should be the secure. If your application has everything as good, but sometimes some of the applications we will see. Once I open the application, it is asking that allow contacts permission, allow messages permission, allow those permission, that permission, lot of permissions they will ask. For tutorial point, tutorial uh, means for tutorial, I'm giving the tutorial. For the tutorial, I no need to take any other permissions because just whatever the content I have, just I'm displaying on the app. That's it. I'm not expecting any input from the user side. So no need to ask any permissions kind of thing. Means it should be the secure first, then only we can get that. So that is a one extra opportunity here. This is the own applications. From there you can earn. Apart from this, here in Android, we will get like uh, more freelancer works. Why? Because see, I ha I have I have some thoughts to small small applications. I am planning small small applications. Basically, let us consider I am not a developer, but I I have some small small thoughts to uh, place my applications. If like I can go and can approach my one company, so I can approach one company. They said that the huge amount, whatever amount it is, maybe uh, suppose uh, they said uh, 10 pages of a mobile app, small mobile application. That's a company said that it's around 50K to 1 lakh, one lakh the, their budget. 
same thing if i go with the freelancer they can do that with the 10 to 20000 or 30000 like that so because of that uh, we need we need here with the people uh, can get more opportunities on a freelancer basis also so this too is not possible with the some other technologies because for example i say uh, i i am the dotnet developer or i am the java developer what is the applications which are building on uh, those technologies it's a major major applications it's a big applications so in those big applications a split and share that kind of uh, mechanism could not be possible in all the cases because of that we will get the less opportunities on those but here it's a small small applications and the more people having that so because of that is the reason here we can get the more opportunities here this is a freelancer part so this is about just uh, want to uh, explain the benefits from the android so the next coming into this next one is so this is fine okay this is fine but uh, some example before going to the next topic i want to show some examples on this so just i want to open the play store once so what i said you people on track that so that's why i want to show some apps in a play store so everyone knows about the apps also sorry play store apps it's <clears throat> yeah play store here <clears throat> so just i want to search only an apps so here i am searching with the frank what is the meaning of frank frank means it's a normal so here frank call so the sail open one application here see x call global phone call app this is the frank application so here see how many downloads are there for this application just to know where is see 10 millions of downloads for this application so what is in this application in this application is nothing if you are having one year of experience on basic android application developer you can do this app in a one week one week of effort means in that just it's a alarm functionality how what the alarm we are using on our phone that alarm functionality is this so using that alarm functionality only this app has built on this so it's a very simple uh, nothing is there in this so easily we can uh, use this application this kind of application so with this application they can put this means i i set alarm at 6 am so with the some mobile number i add instead of normal alarm just i add my mobile number and one photo it should come like instead of alarm it should come as a call kind of thing that is application like this so this kind of lot of lot of applications like uh, i'll show you one silly example um, like uh, bp frank bp frank yeah see by touching the finger how you justify how much blood pressure you have this is impossible just it is a it is also some kind of that uh, who knows random function in java they can write this program in two days so like those kind of see for this also it's a 50 million downloads are there in this app so some small small applications we can generate huge revenues so that just i want to convey that message of this uh, how this will come and how this incomes will come on this okay next i am coming into our uh, next actual this topic here 
So now, okay, this is fine with Android. We know this Android and all. Now I want to go with this. So for Android, if you want to learn Android, what are the things you need here? There are major a few things. So initially, Android has to develop with only the Java. But right now, so we can build this on Kotlin also. So for the Java, we are used code Java. We'll use code Java. But this Kotlin is completely new word to everyone. Uh, maybe here someone knows about this Kotlin word. So this Kotlin is a uh, other language. So using this Kotlin also, we can build apps. This session, what we are doing, this is with the Kotlin. Android development with Kotlin. So uh, maybe you have a few questions. I don't know ABC in Kotlin. No worry. I'm here to teach you those. So here we will start from the basic of Kotlin. Then we'll start. It means initially for this Android development, here we need to first know about the XML language. So this is a very basic language like uh, HTML. It's a also markup language. So what is the meaning of markup language? Which language we use to design? like HTML. I used to design that HTML. So that we can say as a markup language. Like here also it is the same XML. It's an extensible markup language. And this we used to design the our UI. Then for that UI, if you want to give a functionality action means like uh, by, by entering my name and uh, password, I want to log in into application that can be handled with this Kotlin. So initially it was with this, but right now this. So I'll completely, this Kotlin will start from the scratch. So while we are starting this, how while we are doing with the Kotlin, just initially I'll show uh, some for few few programs, not for the all programs. All programs will do with the Kotlin, but few programs I'll show with the Java, then I comes to compare with the Kotlin program. Means like today I done one example. That example, initial four or five programs, I start with Java, then I show that same program in Kotlin. So that you understand why we are going with the Kotlin. Because compared to the Java, here Kotlin is very simple and less lines of code. So it can reduce the time and it can reduce the efforts. So if it is obviously the code and uh, code is less, the performance should be high. So that kind of benefits are there that initially I'll show with the three or four programs with Java and Kotlin. Then after that, every program will go with the Kotlin. Like that, we will go this. So then next question. So how many days duration of this course? So this course is the 45 days. Approximately it is a 50 hours of course. 50 hours of course. So, okay, this 50 hours of course, in this 50 hours of course, what we are going to cover in this course? So for that, uh, I have uh, one document. So what is the latest version of Android? Android is the latest version is 12. So we'll discuss suitable, I mean, what is the, what are the things are going to cover in 12? Those features only we used to cover here this. So initially we'll start with the introduction of this and uh, what is the history, how this came, what are the features, and how this has open source just now in a, uh, Definition, we discussed Android is open source and how that came as an open source and what is the drawbacks, features of each version. Each version wise, we'll discuss in detail of this. 
after that we'll start with the architecture so in the architecture just now i told this linux kernel word that we will discuss along with the pictures diagrams everything in detail then after that uh, setup android environment setup and we'll start with the first program and first program structure then i'll give the complete overview of xml how to start what are the advantages and what are the rules how to write that we will see after that we'll start designing of the ui so we'll start initially with the designing of ui so after that ui that how to run with the kotlin here after that uh, using this design components we can build the forms like uh, login form registration form so such kind of forms using these components like text view button checkbox seek bar rating bar like using those components we can do that kind of forms after those forms components all components of android here we have five components if you are aware of these five components you can build static android application what is the meaning of static so if i comes to programmatic language there are two types of applications one is static other one is a dynamic calculator i can take calculator is a static because it's never change 2 plus 2 4 2 2 multiply with 3 6 like that the standardized is a fixed for that no need to save any kind of data inside the application so which whichever the application has saving some data and it is performing based on that like i take example as amazon flipkart today i open my amazon app they say that offers for laptops tomorrow offers for the shoes day after tomorrow offers for the mobiles like every day the content is changing that is the that is dynamic application not a static application so that kind of application we can discuss but here if you are aware of this you can do static application so after this all the components in detail then we'll go with the advanced user interface like i have uh, 12 members in a class so that 12 members data i want to do some kind of dynamic activity so such kind of activity like i want to like our contacts day every day we are adding one contact two contact three contact like that it is increasing day by day so such kind of views how we can handle that we will see after that how to record a video audio media player such kind of and after that how we are making the calls sending sms emails this already there why we need to learn maybe someone will ask because see if i open the ola everyone knows about the ola application everyone knows about the zomato swiggy so when i order food so if a rider is picking my food and is car is supposed to traveling to my location maybe unfortunately he is uh, missing that location maybe that time uh, i used to call or i used to call so such kind of functionalities if you want to include that so here is the solution for that and after that uh, you are connecting wifi or sharing hotspot so such kind of activities how we can do that that also we can do here and uh, when you receive the call you are getting the sound vibration ringing so such kind of this here we can discuss on the how to ring how to vibrate how to keep silent then after that uh, bluetooth nowadays this bluetooth is very very important because i have one smart watch so i can connect that watch with the bluetooth and uh, i have ac i can on that with the bluetooth i have some printer i can take the print through my mobile application mobile itself so such kind of activities that iot so this we can say as a iot so how to connect the iot devices using our android that we can discuss here detail then after that uh, these are the like uh, uh, multiple pages you want to design 
multiple pages in your application or you want to open camera or you want to open gallery such kind of all activities we can do here after that uh, just i click on my application my internet is slow uh, that uh, web, uh, that page is loading so wait please wait uh, like such kind of alerts kind of activity we will do here this and after that in each page each page of application how the life cycle is it is means first you want to develop application you need to understand the life cycle of that so how that life cycle should come that we can understood here then after that background services like uh, your uh, uh, just i click on download a movie i am doing my activities backgroundly that downloading is happening so the such kind of applications we can do here this and the next is the broadcast receiver this is announcements like battery low a wifi available bluetooth available so someone calling uh, someone messaging so such kind of broadcast announcement here we can do this next is the notifications so this notifications are like whatsapp notification uh normal message notification so that we can do this after that this is very very important who came this course for the job because using this we can build dynamic applications so just now i told the dynamic application dynamic application means which is communicating to the database so database could be anywhere so how the data will communicate and all that we will discuss in our detail but using this web services json these are the concept of web services so here we can discuss more detail on this how this will happening in this so this is also part of this and the next is the fragments so this is the reusability of the user interfaces to reduce the burden on your application we use this fragment concept to reusability of the user interfaces so that we will see in detail and after that some of the applications maybe we can uh, store data locally like contacts i am saving the data in my local i even you can take uh, facebook also so if i open uh, without net also i can open the facebook i can do up to some kind of activity so such kind of means that a uh, facebook is the offline as well as the online it can source so save some data locally as well as it can interact with the server so such kind of small application uh, so, uh, that kind of application we can do this so then for this there is the advanced libraries for this sql database local database that we can discuss and this is a again this is a concept of web service related to web service these two are the Uh, third party libraries but now it is a trending in a market so that we will discuss and the next one it is a material design so what is material design so now uh, my application is working perfectly without zero bug without any bugs but my user interface is not understanding by anyone then there is no use of your application so to overcome that google has given as a material design concept to make attractive ui so they have they given some components some these things so those all we can discuss it is a third party that is uh, provided by google only so android is also provided by google so easily we can integrate those all features in our application that we can discuss here to make an attractive ui then next this is very very important firebase so the firebase is nothing but here it's a using this we can build dynamic applications or any charting kind of application that you can build or like uh, unfortunately i'm using my application as crashed means it's a uh, stopped in between while using but my application is in play store installed by 1000 members who install i don't know but with the uh, person x application has crashed then i need to understand how this is so this tool will give the 
result because of this and so and so reason this application has crashed so that i can understand that reason and i can resolve that i can re-upload the application in play store then after that google maps so how to incorporate google maps in your application here we can discuss on that google places and all so then finally animations how we can use the animations the next are more how to put ads in a, your application and finally how to upload your application in play store and how to update how to regular update how these things will discuss in detail and some other features like how to maintain the code like uh, you in a company if you can go with the company how the company is maintaining the code and what are the things need to follow so such kind of details also i'll give you here in this course so this is overall summary of the course so just i'm summarizing the points so the course duration is 45 days it's around 50 hours of course every day it's a one hour session so in this we'll start with the android latest version of 12 so what are the latest concepts which are here each and everything we can discuss in detail along with the examples so key features of this course is so uh, my perspective so the theoretical concepts whatever the theoretical concepts i'll explain you after the theoretical concepts each and every program i can create in front of you i can write the coding on in front of you i won't execute the i mean sir, already the running programs i won't execute that kind of each and every program i write in front of you itself along with explanation and for every batch what is the examples i am discussing that may change because uh, like uh, uh, button button example is here that will always fix so such kind of programs are same but along with that after that uh, some other program that program previous batch and this batch could be different because today i am teaching one topic like google maps and a google maps what is a suitable example for that i can teach on the go that program itself directly so like that because i am having the hands on experience on a coding that like that it will go the step by step there is no fixed programs i, I want to go with uh, only this fixed 50 programs 60 program not like that kind of mentality each and every topic with latest examples, simply, simply, day, because day by day, the code as updating, uh, along with the updates, I'll teach you each and every program along with the updates. That is, I'm covering. And finally, last uh, few sessions, I'll give you the complete overview of the project. Means uh, if you want to start a project after getting the job, if you want to start a project, how to start the project and how to follow uh, other team members and how we can start, how we can uh, incorporate things, that kind of uh, full overview of the project also I'll give you this. So if anyone have any questions on this? Yeah, someone asked that. Uh, yeah, daily how many hours of this? I already answered. Every day it is a, a one hour session. Is there any need to core Java knowledge? If you have core Java knowledge, it's uh, well and good. If you don't have also, because we are starting with the coding, it's a good. So after completing this course, can I get, yeah. This course, this I want to highlight. So along with the every, every class, along with every class, I'll give you few tasks. If you follow the task, definitely I cannot say exactly three plus, but in between of two to three plus or maybe four, depends on your practice, you can get at least minimum, you can get the two to three years of experience uh, kind of activity will get. If you practice whatever the programs I given as a practice. So network libraries like yeah i already told that right retrofit here we have already seen volley retrofit so this also we'll discuss here yes yeah it's a nine o'clock only 
can we crack interviews after this course yes definitely is that uh, related a few interview questions are uh, interview related question means like uh, uh when we are discussing about the retrofit then let us say topic of retrofit so while discussing up retrofit i'll explain you how that specific topic you can explain on your interview so such way i'll explain you on that so that easily you can crack the interviews so any questions classes will be on weekend also hello <clears throat> hello yes yes sir uh, i want to ask uh, uh, if some if as uh, i know java then no. uh, how if i learn kotlin the, in this case uh, how um, java will help to learn kotlin actually yeah so there is a specifically i cannot say directly if you know java how to learn means it's a simply like a, it will it will uh, it will simple yeah, for yeah, me yeah. or yes yes yeah, yeah. just just i want to so if you know java or someone who know python someone know the php someone who dot net so you know the syntax right uh, this syntax should be like this uh, you are already aware of the some part of the code so easily you can understand the what is the syntax if you are writing this in a different te technology I means here technology wise there is advantages if you know one basic language easily you can understand the other language syntax and all in that way it will help but both are different both are not same both are different but you can understand syntax syntax also different uh, syntax also means it's a reducing like uh, here uh, in java i am writing the four lines of like in a java basic core java mm -hmm. core java and advanced java like advanced java means spring net uh, springs you are writing yeah. some code springs oh here and there some there, like that is like yeah, java 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 8 knowledge complete like java 1.8 knowledge like lambda function and all the things yeah 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 then then okay then easily you can answer here like it is a framework kind of thing this is the kotlin is a framework kind of thing it is okay so that way you can easily understand that <clears throat> And one more thing, yeah. As uh, in our course, uh, Android material design, just yeah. Android material design, is just like Google design. Google give us some component, ready-made component, then we will use it. Uh, but uh, sometime in our project, we have to use customized component. Yeah. In this case, uh, uh, will you teach this? Ki how to create the uh, customized component yeah so that customized components also we can discuss see here based on uh, the area where you struck that that we can see here uh, this uh, whatever basic things you are not so from there we can elaborate that so if you start somewhere like uh, the yeah, just like just like if you are creating a spinner okay. uh, in this case if you want uh, uh, Google yeah, uh, Google gives us the one spinner or Android gives us the spinner, but we don't want this type of spinner. Yes, yes. We I need know. we need some spinner that are rounded and uh, this type that, of that. Uh, so, this yeah. type of. Yes, yes. Process. For that, uh, for that, uh, and, you know, we are uh, we we are creating here custom custom components. So custom component, yes. Yeah, custom components we can uh, do. Uh, based on the requirement that we can do here so here also i'll cover a few custom components as well like here already here yes and one more thing i want to ask uh, actually nowadays react native is very famous in case of uh, mobile development correct, correct. then in this case react native what is the difference actually uh, yes. because react native give us give us android as well as uh, apple uh, ios development but right. android right. give us only uh, android development yes. in this case uh, yeah. yeah this is my question yeah, I, I understand, think I understand. I yeah. first i'm repeating your question so there is a not only react native there is lot of other cross platforms are there like flutter is there react native yes. is there so lot of is there so but why we are going with this means there is a simple answer so in a real time already we faced one issue so there is a fitness tracker 
okay fitness tracker we uh, developed one app initially it was in a react native okay so then on that uh, uh, it has lot of integrations uh, like uh, customer as for the customer requirement uh, they has to uh, integrate with the uh, google apple music and uh, uh, savan like lot of libraries third party libraries some iot kind of thing so in those cases we faced a lot of issues again finally customer came back and is we want both apps in a native only because of when we if it is a basic application there mm -hmm. is third party dependency mm -hmm. so you can go with the cross platforms no problem but if you have any third uh, cross platforms uh, dependency must ensure you go with the native means i my personal suggestion because we already faced that kind of issues with the customers so because mm -hmm. um, i saw i support i uh, means i suggest go with the native so yeah. if customer won't have that much of funds because we want to build a two kind of applications then you need to compromise few features mm -hmm. like that <clears throat> So, any other questions from anyone? Hello, sir. Yes. Uh, hello. Yeah, common. Sir, I want to continue uh, for this uh, question like, have you developed a native development? Uh, mm -hmm. As you explained, you mean to say lack of the libraries in the hybrid uh, development. That's why you want to go uh, with, the, with uh, this uh, native development. Am I right, sir? Yeah, uh, yeah. Lack of library means it is supporting, but not that much of fully supported. So what happens after one or two years that library be fully developed? Yeah, yeah. Sense? Means, see, uh, it can support majority. See, uh, if uh, I'm a third party, okay? I'm a third party. Uh, mm -hmm. this, uh, means uh, uh, React Native and Flutter, these all are came uh, four or five years back. Okay? Initially, this yes, iOS, these all are from many years. So, okay already built their applications in different different uh, aspects and different things so the easily it can uh, communicate and can uh, do that kind of uh, things in a uh, different things but some kind of like uh, just now i said now uh, uh, i voice majorly we won't face issues with the android phone because it's uh, easily uh, compatible with the different majority of the cases you will face the issues in i voice version when you are releasing an i voice version we will face lot of issues uh, like uh, iOS related things, payment gateway, and uh, uh, this music, um, third party musics, and uh, when we are connecting to IoT, such cases you will face the issues. You mean the performance issues, sir? Yeah, some, some performance uh, issues and uh, some coding kind of issues also we can face. Okay, sir. So, one more thing, sir. Will you call unit testing in this course? Sorry? Unit testing. Unit testing. Yeah. Unit, unit testing. Yeah, unit testing. It's a we can do this, but that's a completely the different uh, different platform here. Mobile development is a different platform. Unit testing is a different platform here. We can. Unit testing is at, Yeah, at, unit at, testing at, in app means there are again. Mobile app development. Sir. Yeah, yeah. There are various cases are there. Like unit testing is uh, I can say manual unit testing, automation unit testing. So if you want to go with a manual, there is no, just uh, whatever the uh, user stories we have for the application. So that user stories, based on the user stories, you can go manually screen by screen. You can do the, uh, give that uh, report. That is a manual unit unit testing. But if you want to go with uh, with coding unit testing, using this, uh, whatever the platform here we are using, Android Studio, there you can do. That is a different topic and different, uh, means a different course kind of thing. Not is a Android development course. It is part of Android development course. If, sir, if, if will you put a guidance? Suppose I want to do unit testing for using SRD equal is like method is there not? for the uh, actual testing. Uh, there also design uh, design testing also there. So because so many company ask for the unit testing also. That's why sir I'm asking. Hello. Yes, yes. Uh, just I missed your words because of power issues. Just I came back with uh, other data. Uh, 
so yeah that uh, if you want to uh, support means that i can support and uh, no problem just i will get uh, stuck okay. i will guide you on that area okay so, sir jetpack library is there jetpack like rx uh, java yeah so that uh, yeah that that is all will uh, is there that completely the fully advanced level of that so yeah uh, all people cannot understand that much of uh, standardized here so when anyone already who have uh, basic knowledge so if you want to suggestion on that just you can ask here i'll give you the reference urls and uh, suggestions basic suggestions i'll give you here on that areas Okay, so only only our that would be one thing. So just to get extra knowledge, because yeah, if yeah. I study by myself, it will take more time. You are you are experienced, so you can explain in uh, in very few minutes. Sir. That's good. yes, yes, correct, correct. So no, no worry. That I'll guide you. That's <clears throat> okay, sir. Thank you, thank you. Sir. Thank you. So, any questions from anyone? Sir, I have one question. Like, if we miss the class, then is there any recorded video, or how can we cover the topic? If we yes, yes. Uh, recorded sessions should be available. Okay. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the fees of this course, sir? Yeah, uh, ten thousand. Ten thousand. Yeah. Is it negotiable, sir? Ten thousand is yes, sir, quite costly very, because ten thousand. It is very costly, sir. Ten thousand is very costly. Yeah, that uh, that is that uh, you can talk with the Durga Soft people. Uh, man, I mean, so who is the coordinator? Is there? I can talk with the coordinator. Mm -hmm. Take care of those things. So uh, my part is to here uh, just uh, one uh, teach uh, classes. Sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. So anything else? Okay, so I hope uh, everyone is clear. Uh, so we'll meet you tomorrow at 9 p.m. Okay. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, hi, good evening. So I'm sharing my screen. So I hope uh, everyone are there in yesterday's class, right? Any new person? Okay, so so what uh, we discussed yesterday, just I want to summarize first. So first, yesterday we discussed about Android definition, then followed by how, why we need to learn this course. And after that, we discussed something about uh, syllabus, what we are going to cover in this syllabus. And what are the duration and all we covered yesterday. Now, I want to elaborate the words which we discussed yesterday in a definition. So what the, the definition of Android? Here we discussed a few things. One is open source. First word we discussed about this open source and operating system. Next is the development environment. So development environment. The next word is the Linux kernel. So with these four words, we discussed definition of Android. So here, first word, I coming to this open source. What is open source? Anyone? So you have any idea about an open source? I'm not asking about the Android. I'm asking the meaning of open source. Open source is nothing but uh, is, it is open to all and it is uh, free to all. 
Yes, exactly. So it's a freely available to this. So free software, yeah. So generally, uh, open source, it's a freely available. Like see, for example, uh, if I'm, I'm developing in a .NET. So for the .NET, there are some restrictions. Up to certain stage, the .NET can be provided as open source. After that, if you want to go in a more, uh, more tools and all, it should be paid. So it should be paid. But here, no payment for this. Means for Android development, if you want to do an Android development, no need to pay anything for the license. License in the sense, that is for the development environment. So for the development environment, no need to pay. Like for example, if I installed Windows in my laptop, Windows operating system. So for that, we need to pay. If you won't pay, what it says, it's a, after a few days, it says that uh, trial version has expired, your license has expired. So it says something like that and it cannot support all the features. But here, Android is not like that. So it can be completely the open source, no need to pay anything for the setup to develop an Android application. So then if any software which is open source, major benefit is we can get the, we can get majority of the source code. So we can get the source code is free of cost. So we can get easily source code. From the source code also, we can do some elaborations here. This. So that is the first one. Here we will get the, some part of the source code also, the free. So that we can do. So without paying anything, we can get some part of code and we can get the support for this. So this Android is having the huge community. So in this community, easily we can get the support as well as the code example, lot of examples code that all are available. This. So that is coming into the point of open source. Next, I'm coming into operating system. So what is operating system? Anyone operating system? What is operating system? So operating system is nothing but, it's a simple words. I'm explaining in the generalized words. It's a bridge between, bridge between software and hardware software and hardware. So what is that software and hardware? See, if I took my mobile, if I took my laptop, so yeah, if I took my mobile, so in case of that mobile, I have camera in my application, that is a hardware. But if I want to capture an image, for that I need some software support. So what is the support I'm getting from the software to hardware in between something is needed that we can say as an operating system. So it's a, someone said here, interface. Exactly. If you are, means first time saying here, it's a generalized word. It is a bridge between software and hardware. If you want to talk in our IT terminology, that is an interface. Maybe why I said bridge initially means maybe someone could not understand the word of interface. So the interface is nothing but it's a interface, a, it means a bridge. Interface is nothing but here bridge. So it will between the bridge. So it can be support for this. So as already we discussed, this operating system is for nowadays lot of electronic gadgets like mobiles, apps, TVs, cars, auto, watch, etc. So many is there. So many gadgets are coming nowadays, etc. So many devices are coming. So this Android operating system, we can install, means uh, we can use this, we can install a lot of applications. So that is a 
easily we can get this lot of devices. So then next is the development environment. So what is development environment? So using this, we can build applications. We can build apps. So what kind of apps we can build here? Already yesterday I told this, static and dynamic, both kind of applications we can build. So, and what is static? Static means it's a fixed inputs that could not be changed later, but dynamic means every day the data is updating from the database. It is interacting with the database. So using this Android, we can build two types of environments. One, so two types of applications. One is the static, other is the dynamic. So both applications we can build using this. Then next, Linux kernel. So this I already told it's a part of the architecture. So always the Android is run on the top of the Linux kernel, top of the Linux. So how this top of the Linux kernel, just uh, I'll show you some picture here. So here, if this is my application inside, what is inside is there the, this is my application. This is my app. So here between this, what is the space? So someone said we will start. Yes, we can, uh, we'll do that both cases here. Front end as well as the back end. <clears throat> so here, this is, what is the space between these two circles is nothing but here Linux kernel. So this is the, uh, this space. What is the space between this? This is the Linux kernel. So Linux kernel. So this Linux kernel always means first as a user. So this is a user, I'm sending one request. As a user, what I'm saying now, I'm saying that open contacts application or open camera, mm -hmm. open gallery, some request I'm sending from my phone. So it is traveling through this Linux kernel. Then after interaction with that particular app, Again, the response is coming back to the user through same layer that is a Linux kernel. Because of that is a reason, what I'm saying now, always it is interacted with the user with respective of Linux kernel. So this is the request and this is the response. So because of that, I'm saying this Android apps always running on the top of the Linux kernel. So that is, that is a reason. It's an inbuilt of the architecture of that. So it is on and always run on the top of the Linux kernel. So this is about the Linux kernel. So then this is about the four words which we discussed yesterday. One is an open source operating system, development environment, and the next is the Linux kernel. So after this, just we will see the history of this. So what is the history and how this has started? So every programmatic language has some history. Like here, Android is also have some history. So who invented this Android? Anyone? Anyone knows that? Who invented this Android? So nowadays, if I ask who is the owner of the android everyone says that it's a majority of the people says that google but actual invention as done by andre rubin so who is this andre rubin so andre rubin is the person he is the he is the person Actually, he is a Java developer. So in uh, 2003, he was a Java developer. So when he was a Java developer, someday, one day, he went to shop to buy 
one camera. You want to buy one camera. Then there you see he compared and then he compared there he compared one thing that is a camera normal camera and one is the digital camera one is a digital camera so he compared both like a normal camera has very less price digital camera has very high price then he asked uh, the shop owner so why this much of this so he says that uh, he compared the features so this has zoom in feature zoom out feature and you will get clarity here and here it is a kind of some what are the differences between this normal camera and digital camera he explained all the things then finally he understood one point only the major difference between these two is major difference is software he understood that so the digital camera has some software normal camera does not have the that much of it it is also have some software but it is not have that much of intellectual software so it has one intellectual software because of that is the reason this camera has the more cost then he thought that so why can't we implement why can't we implement one application for the digital cameras so then he started a company and company name called android inc so he started that company so that company nothing but it cannot be possible with a single person so along with him is a friends three members also joined so then they started r and d what is r and d so all are java developers r and d research and development they are researching the things so their intention was to develop a digital camera software they started with a to start a development of one software which is suitable to the digital camera then this is the year of 2003 from the 2003 to 2005 okay they got one solution they got one solution in the span of two years they got one solution so what is that solution just they had the basic uh, camera application they got simply okay they got some architecture kind of thing okay this is the possibilities are there okay this uh, they have the basic after the basic they got a lot of inputs and they says that okay this uh, we can go with the lot of things and all so just one thing i want to cover here just uh, if you are any other uh, if you have questions kind of thing i'll give you the uh, last 5 minutes to ask those questions so like uh, any course related things i'll answer your questions last last few minutes okay so now they got the solution and they are working on that uh, in 2005 they got they released a basic version of that after that they want to enhance they want to enhance the software and they still they are uh, doing an r and d and what happens they struck with the funds struck with the funds they got the solution okay means so they know if you go in this way definitely we get the solution but they struck somewhere with the funds because these people initially they are they are already working somewhere but in 2003 they have started the organization and uh, there is no extra income so they, because whatever the amounts they have already they invested on a, this company from last two years so they struggled with the funds they have solution but if you want to implement that solution it need lot of funds so from the 2005 to 
they approached mm. lot of companies lot of something some companies and all so in a 2007 they released one static static version of software for camera software version for camera so then they they documented all their thoughts in a clear picture in one document and they approached a lot of companies like nokia uh, sony ericsson who is the on those days who are the mobile providers they approached a lot of companies finally the google has accepted their and in the 2007 this is acquired by google means they has released some funds to do the r&d things for the features perfect you but what is their goal that feature so they thought that why can't this r&d to stop for the cameras why can't we implement this for the mobiles that is their intention because on those days every mobile which has it's a very basic mobile so we know that uh, basic mobiles what are the features as given by the manufacturers we are using only those but they want to update that like our laptops because in my laptop if i want to install some software i can install that software but such kind of facility is not there in a mobile so they has to build such kind of application in this means they want to build one operating system based on this android so operating system and development environment to build the apps to run on the specific environment that is their feature goal from the 2007 to 2009 in the span of this 2 to 3 years they want to reach this goal they want to reach this goal then google has google has acquired and they invested on something on this then second level of r and d i started on this second level of r and d started on the this specific area so finally in a 2008 2008 the first version of android as released in a mobile so first version of android mobile as released in a market with the company of sony so with this company of sony they released in the first version of android mobile in 2008 but this is not a full stable version so that days in 2008 days were the mobile other mobile uh, softwares are available is uh, symbian symbian java dot net so like these kind of other applications which are already they are providing like that means java in java jtm is there in dot net there is a mobile version symbian is one other is the farm like there are various uh, other softwares other which are there so this every other manufacturers are not showing interest means like nokia is there sony is there motorola is there uh, lot of mobile manufacturers are there but no one is not showing interest to jump into this android version because this is also similar how this mobiles having this uh, symbian java jtm farm farm this kind of same application this is here also in 2008 what is the version first released in the market with that also the people cannot install any other new application apart from the manufacturer as given so then why we can go with a stable to new application even though 
we can also think that any new product will come in a market until it's a good uh, until we get the good comments and all we cannot go and buy the such kind of products so like that they every uh, manufacturer are thinking that then after that in a 2009 they succeeded as 2009 they succeeded as a operating system so they released operating system in a market still even though they said that android is now operating system you can install apps in operating system but still no people as not showing an interest on this version why because operating system is available but there is no apps available in a market to install on this operating system so then what they did they developed on a development environment so this already they targeted in a development environment they targeted in 2007 itself this is development environment so they developed the this environment by end of 2009 means almost we can say it's a december so i consider it as a 2010 once this development environment has released so slowly one by one software companies also started developing the apps started developing the apps then one by one manufacturers are showing interest so some one 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 manufacturer as came and they started their devices on this and the next one like in a in the span of next 2010 to 14 or 15 4 to 5 years of span it became a huge in a market because every 6 months or one year uh, this people are giving the major changes major updates which are the people not expecting that kind of features they are giving they are releasing in a market so because of those reasons in a 4 to 5 years of the span this has occupied the 70 to 80% of the market in worldwide so even if in case of uh, our country right now it is 85 to 90% of mobiles are and right remaining are the ios if you go with the worldwide statistics it's a in between of the 60 to 70% of android devices and the next 30% of the devices are ios and other is there so this is how this became and this but in this gap lot of versions are released those the current version is the android 12 then before that 11 10 like it is from 0 to this all versions has came here so the each version here has some name so that name also here see for each and every version there is a name so the name is very interesting here so how how it is interesting means see here a b c so a b these two are not a stable version so they not given any names on this here in a market from c onwards means it's a following alphabets only see you can we can see now each version it has having the name from the alphabet like it will start from the a b c d like that only so c is the anyone know that name c which started with the c android name that is cupcake so first one this is the cupcake next to d donut e so what is that e eclair so e is the eclair next f is the froyo h g sorry g g is the gingerbread 
H honeycomb. Hi, ice cream sandwich. Ice cream sandwich. J for jelly, jelly beans. K for Kit Kat. Next, L for lollipop. M for marshmallow. So marshmallow. Next, N for nugget. O for Oreo. So this, up to this, these are the versions which are released in a market with a different. See, it, it is in a one st structure, it is following these names. But are you finding any relation uh, with these words? So all are the deserts. Deserts means in the food, we can say deserts. It's a bakery related items. So chocolate family bakery related deserts, we can say this. Why these kind of names? Sorry, one more is there, right? I forgot the P is pi. I forgot to write this pi. So this is the one. It's a giving the different, different names for this. So these all are because Andre Rubin and all his friends always eat these kind of foods. So because of that, these names are coming like this. And here, so each version has some level, level of, like level in the sense, Android 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, up to 12. This is a, each version it has a one level. So about that levels in our environment, while we are installing our environment, I'll show you the levels and what is the features. So means here, we will discuss each level features in detail here. Means each level, what is the features and what are the drawbacks that we will discuss in detail of here this. So as of now, anyone have any question on this area? So I hope everyone is clear. So just um, moving to this next here. So, okay. So just fine. So now uh, we know this, we know the definition of Android. And next is the Android versions and history. So the next, I want to come with one word that is mobile application development. What is mobile application development? Anyone? Mobile application development? Say, from fast few years, mobile application development has escalated business strategies worldwide. What is the business strategies worldwide? Completely it is changed in the business strategies. What kind of, for example, so nowadays we are buying a lot of things from the Flipkart, Amazon uh, and other shopping carts. Whatever you like the shopping carts, we are buying a lot of things in us. this. Why? Because initially before this uh, smartphones also there are there is a Flipkart, there is Amazon, but people are not that much of interest to buy this. Why? Any specific reason from anyone? Because if when you are in front of the system, then only you can access those specific websites previously. But right now, all applications are your hand. When you are traveling, 
when you are sleeping when you are uh, sit sit uh, lonely then every time you are accessing the mobile on the mobile the play the flip card there is amazon there is other shopping cart so and uh, every what is offer for the today they are sending as a notification so by seeing that we are tempting and we are buying the products so like that the lot of things which is happening we are buying that products and we are getting the this so in this uh, we are getting lot of things here we are getting the uh, lot of things here so that is uh, we are getting lot of benefits from this so because of that this that word i said that it has escalated business strategies in worldwide so the mobile app almost same as a web application but it has major differences compared to that just now i said it is an always in your hand so it is changed as this so then in a mobile app development mobile app development is nothing but just we are building the apps for the low memory devices so what is that low memory devices like here for the mobiles tablets watch tv and these all are we are building for the smart devices so and the next this is about the small word about this mobile development environment then next so how many categories of mobiles are there anyone this answer categories of mobiles how many categories are there in the market mobile categories mobile categories in my perspective i say only two one is the feature phone one is the feature phone other is a smartphone feature and smart what is feature and what is smart so feature phone is nothing but all our basic phones which are not having the any installations facility so just we are what is the manufacturer has given we can use only those like contacts bluetooth camera settings etc so that all basic mobiles we can say this means as a user side i cannot install any applications so it has less memory and uh, for this just now already we discussed about that uh, this these kind of applications are developed by java symbian uh, migo and dotnet so that we can those are the examples for this and the next part of this is the now this is very very important for that because this word is suitable for us now this related to our course so that is a smartphone in the smartphone we have an operating system so we can install number of applications what you want and it has more memory compared to feature phone and in this there are different uh, case different is there android ios windows blackberry but simply we can say nowadays there is no almost blackberry is gone almost windows also gone only android and ios both are uh, trending in a market so that we are developing here applications for these two kind of this but era here we are developing this application for the android mobile okay this is fine the next word i want to go with some other word that is application what is application anyone we are saying that uh, we are learning here mobile application development but what is the meaning of application anyone so in a simple words application is nothing but it can reduce human efforts so how it can reduce human efforts see let us consider in my mobile 
there is no context. There is no context. Hardly you can remember 20, 30, maybe if you are a very genius, maybe you can uh, remember uh, 50, but more than that, you cannot. So if it is not there, I need to write in one notebook or some diary or something else while I'm traveling. I used to bring that. If I want to uh, dial some contact, then I want to do this. So here what it is doing, because of this contacts application, it is reducing your work. So it is reducing your efforts. So that means simply the software which is designed to store data and provide the processing of data based on that we can generate some kind of uh, uses reports that we can say as a application. So applications we can build using different uh, languages that is Java, .NET, Python, then Kotlin, like etc. So many is there. Like those we can use and we can build those applications on this. This is fine. And yesterday, finally, some people has asked one question that, so here we are developing application using Android development, either it's a Java or Kotlin. But apart from that, there is a, some other environments means this, whatever we are learning here, this course, we will say that word as a native mobile application development, native mobile app development. So what is the meaning of native mobile app development means? If we are developing this application, it can be suitable to the one environment. That environment is nothing but here Android. Means I can install these applications in Android phone, not in a other phone. So that is. But is there any platform which I can create a, both apps at the same time? Yes, obviously. That is, we can say as a cross platform. So that is cross platform. So as I told already a few uh, details here yesterday, some one's doubts. So if it is in a native application, it can be suitable for the specific environment. Like I want to build an Android application. I can use Android setup and I can do that. If I want to develop an iOS, I can go with the Swift or CH, then I can develop that. And uh, if in case of native application, it is very fast compared to the compared to other of, of the class platform, and it can support more features and it has lightweight. So because of the lightweight, it can be easily we can access with this. And the same if I comes to the class platform. So what happens with the class platform? So here the class platform. If I develop application, it can be suitable for both Android and iOS, but it is having the huge weight. So it giving the huge weight. It cannot support that much of all features which we are building in a native application development. It cannot support that. Next. Now uh, these examples are here, uh, PhoneGap, Xamarin. So that is just, I'll write that words, phone gap, Xamarin, Xamarin, Flutter, ReactJS. So these all are the, some of the applications. Using this, we can build this phone gap applications, but it cannot support that much of easy. It is a heavy weight. So it will take time to load those applications. So that is the reason we are going with the flexible environment that is a native mobile development this. So with this, we can, uh, mean, so with this uh, native mobile application, we can get very flexible 
and uh, lightweight, fast, secure applications. So because of that, we are preferring means we are preferring not only we majority of the market as preferring the native mobile app development. So this is about the mobile app development and uh, these things. So just uh, finally, I want to summarize for the, today's session. So just we discussed about the Android definition words, which are open source, operating system, Linux kernel and development environment. After that, we discussed about the features of Android history of, sorry, and Android history. Then after that, what are the versions and version names we discussed. Then apart from this, I we discussed some more other words. So what is application and what is native environment? What is cross platform? Then what kind of mobile categories? So those few ports we discussed. So in a next session, we will go with version wise features. Android version wise features. So version wise features will go in detail. Each version will take version wise features as well as the drawbacks of that. So here features and drawbacks we will discuss each version wise. So then now uh, apart from this, I want to go with few things. So here this theoretical classes could be next to four to five days. It's a theoretical classes. So to understand the uh, Android features and uh, environment and architecture up to that, it's a completely the theoretical sessions for next four to five days. After that, we'll slowly enter into the coding part. So after four days, we'll enter into the coding part, four to five days. So in this four to five days, what are your activities? So your activities has to, first you need to go through whatever the words here we are discussing, what is Android uh, definition, what is application, what is native development like this, what are the words I'm explaining now. Those you can elaborate from your side. If you have any questions, you can come with me. I can explain you. And hope everyone has the their uh, laptop or desktops. So that should be already someone has asked that question also, what is the configuration is required? So that configuration is, it's a minimum of 8 GB RAM, 8 GB RAM and Windows 7 and above, Windows 7 and above is suitable for this. If you have Linux, okay, no problem. If you have Mac, okay, no problem. In we can install irrespective of platform, we can install, but it should be minimum of with 8 GB RAM so that it can be support easily on your environment. If you have the less, very, very uh, complicated to run this. And here who are Having this, uh, maybe if you have already some old PC, like uh, it's a Windows 7 or Windows 10 or 8 GB, but maybe your uh, uh, like, uh, yeah, processor is less, it is supporting slowly. So such kind of uh, people, I'll give you a few solutions like uh, uh, development itself, how to run directly instead of running an uh, emulator, how to run directly on your phone. That process also I'll show you once that installation process has completed so that you can run directly application on your phone so that it will reduce some burden on your system. So that also I'll show you that how to run that uh, applications in your mobile. So any other questions from anyone? Any questions from anyone for today's session?
Yes, someone raised hand here. Sir, uh, total duration in 45 days, uh, can you elaborate what are the things you will be teaching? I mean, how many days yeah. you will take it? Four days is for uh, theory. Then after, uh, then uh, 40 days will be around uh, coding. Yeah. Right. So which project you will take? Yes, it? completely it's a code. So I'm looking for uh, freelancing. You know the REST API, right? Yes, REST uh, API. Web, uh, when we are when sending the data using REST API, can you capture using uh, Android? <laughs> That one you have, we can show the examples there. Yes, yes, this yes. For yes, purpose. Yes. This I already uh, yesterday showed now this complete syllabus here that REST APIs we are discussing here, web services. So yes. here we will discuss the REST using the JSON format. So basic how to do the basic uh, first level of program. Then after that uh, using advanced libraries that is a uh, of it and Wally. So this three. For, uh, okay. For after installation in C drive, how much space it should be for working this uh, oh. complete uh, software projects? Yeah, so that not like it will uh, normally it will consume five to six GB initial setup itself. Day by day, it will increase. How much? If you have less, if one uh, like say uh, initially it is uh, it will take six to eight GB space. Okay. okay. Clearly, you are updating that next version, next version. If you update the next version, like today I installed Android 10, suppose Android 10. After six months, I got the 11, 12 updates. I updated to 12. Another oh, three to four GB it can take. But there is a solution. We can remove the older versions and we can update the latest version. So that it will be minimum six to eight GB. It's enough for that. But who are having the less space in a C drive, you can install other drive also. Okay. So can you show me that ID that uh, studio? Yeah, it's an Android studio. Android studio. Okay. This one. Android studio. Android studio. Only one, that one only you need to install, right? So yeah, Java that one only Java, for that uh, we need uh, for Java we need to learn. Yes, and, for uh, that we need Java. Okay. Yeah, for this support of this studio, we need a Java setup in your uh, laptop. Which, so then which, it can support Java, uh, Java, JDK, JDK uh, J, uh, from iron 8 to 8 and uh, higher version is fine. Okay. Just you can install some any JDK version. Okay. Then uh, once we install this environment, it could be set automatically everything. So that uh, process also I'll show you here. No worry. Okay, so any other questions from anyone? So you have any class in the morning, sir? Morning, 8 o'clock like that? No. Only night, 9 no. o'clock? Yes, yes. Presently only 9 o'clock is going on. <laughs> so I hope uh, other people are clear. So here, one thing I'm expecting from everyone, everyone has to participate actively in a class. When I ask questions, so you should answer, like either you can ask, uh, you can type, or you can talk something. So that uh, what I feel that, okay, you are following me. If you are silent, there is a two, I, uh, my, in my perspective, I think that two ways. One is you are hundred percent your understanding. Okay, other is zero. So that uh, what I'm suggesting you is just follow me. If you have any questions, you can ask. Or if I'm asked some questions, you try to answer that. Even if it is wrong, also no problem. But try to interact. Interaction is important here. Okay. Okay, then uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow, 9 p.m. Thank you.
Yeah, hi guys, good evening. So <clears throat> I'm sharing my screen. So in last class, we discussed about Android history. <clears throat> Just I'm um, refreshing that. So Android history and uh, various different versions are there. Just we read about this version names. After that, we discuss some generalized words, which are like what is application and what is software, such kind of small, small words we discussed in the last. <clears throat> So now here I want to cover now. So that is uh, today's agenda is today we will concentrate on two words. One is some key features of Android. This is the first topic for today. And uh, next it followed by Android version wise features. So these two topics we will concentrate today on this session. <clears throat> so key features, what are the key features? So it has a lot of key features On that few key features we will discuss here. So first we'll start from one. So what are the key features? So first I'll start with the basic features which it can be see it is supported to multi-language so how this has supported to the multi-language so what is multi-language so simply here in android phone it can support it can support for multiple languages how it can support see in my mobile for example you can take a uh, whatsapp only so you can chat uh, you can send the messages in a uh, telugu hindi english or other some languages so like that your mobile can be supported for a multi language so it can be support for multi language the next means even when we are building our application also we can do that <clears throat> means in our application itself i want to go with multi languages you can go with the multi languages so that is first one i want to cover here <clears throat> the next is <clears throat> so this is the web browser support so what is meaning of web browser? So right now we are using many browsers like Chrome and uh, Firefox, Safari, Edge, like so many browsers we are using. But here it's a, there is a, inside there is a open source engine is there that is the WebKit engine. So here we have WebKit engine. So this WebKit engine can support to build web browser kind of applications. If you want to build such kind of application, you can build using this WebKit. The next. So the next one is here. It is a media support so what is media so media is nothing but it's a audio video and uh, image formats so here android can support multiple types of medias that is uh, in case if i go with the image jpeg png and uh, if I'm using an animation kind of, it is a zip format. Next, if I go with the uh, video, BMP, 3GP, and uh, MP4, like it can support 
lot of versions so whatever types of media it can be supported this so that is the third feature and the next fourth is this so streaming media support what is streaming media streaming media support is nothing but here we can access here we can access the uh, like live like if it is on a live tv i can watch live tv in my mobile and using my mobile i can share live like we are sharing uh, facebook live youtube live so such kind of live streaming also it can support I means it's a simply i can say that it can be supported for the live streaming as well so that is the one more extra benefit so that is that came from the operating system only because of the operating system it has supporting these all are the features so one is the multi language second is the web browser support third is a media and fourth is a live streaming support and next is the additional hardware support some additional hardware so what is that additional hardware support so additional hardware support is nothing but you are like camera touch screen like i'll write here some camera touch screen next uh, gps so sensors so these all are the etc these all are the examples for this support so it can support it can support for additional hardware support that is camera touch screen gps sensors etc so it is supporting for those kind of this and the next one it is multi touch so what is multi touch whatever the touch screens we have using right now thus we can say as the multi touch because see initially there are the initial touch phones that time when we are getting that on screen touch but we are not able to touch with our fingers that time we are able to touch with some kind of they are giving us some kind of stick using that stick we are touching those so that is a multi touch then next so these all are very very important and the next is the bluetooth bluetooth so this bluetooth also it can be supported in nowadays the bluetooth also the range has increased by the android support why because initially the bluetooth we are using only to connect the headset uh, for audio video calls like that but nowadays not only that using this we are connecting to the iot devices iot devices in sense like ac fan fridge tv so such kind of other iot devices we are connecting through our mobile because of that nowadays this bluetooth is also playing a major role here the next feature here it is so that is a video calling so the video calling support so it's a support video calling is nothing but it's a almost similar to the live streaming but there is a difference is there like live streaming and this one so video calling means we can uh, each other we can see live streaming means only one one direction means i am the live streamer whatever i am sharing you are able to see that that's it but here video calling means i'm seeing your face you are seeing my face that is a video calling so that also it can be supporting this here 
the next it is is the external storage external storage what is external storage so whatever the memory i'm getting inside the inside the phone apart from that if you want to increase some extra memory you can add some extra memory using the third party supported sd cards so that also all android mobiles can support so the next is this uh, threatening so what is threatening so threatening is nothing but here so this is the like uh, hotspot sharing we are sharing hotspot using our phone and also we are connecting to wifi so this kind of uh, network related features we say as a threatening so this is threatening features and uh, next some of the other features also there around the 20 features 20 key features are there this so next it is the java or kotlin support so java and kotlin support so because of java and kotlin support whatever the java features like platform independent robust and it can support for the platform independency so such kind of all whatever the java related features as well as whatever the kotlin related features it can support both are open source it can support many things like programmatic wise it can be supported the more the next feature from here is the uh, messaging so initially when you want to send a message if i want to send a message either you, you are sending only in the form of text but initially if you want to send an mms kind of message means media message if you want to send that media message it should be huge cost on those days the network people are taking too much of amount to that and that message as sending to the people so that is a so that is a, we are going that so now but now it is a we can use all types of like text then media media in the sense image audio video such kind of you can send here this the next so connectivity so this phones has connectivity like it can support gsm so gsm means in our phones there is a cdma gsm uh, 3g 4g 5g so nowadays it has supporting all variants now uh, uh, along with the network providers how the technology is developing the mobiles also releasing in that fashion so now whatever the latest phones so those all are supporting to the 5g as well so the next is the so it can uh, almost be covered almost multi touch multi language and uh, different resolutions so how this different resolutions like i can build the application for mobile also i can build the application for a watch i can build the application for tv like means small to big we can build many better features this and the next is this always regularly these people are providing the attractive features on ui wise updated ui always updated user interface always so because you want to attract the people your application should be good looking ui so that these people are regularly giving the support to that and also if i comes to the developer side free customization if you want to customize your application you can do 
easily without paying anything. Whatever the new features that you can utilize without paying any cost. That point already we discussed yesterday. That is under comes into the open source. And this is the Google Play Store. Whatever Google Play Store has, it has many many apps which are available as a free of cost so that is also one of the major thing to this and also coming into this whatever the development environment so that development environment is also user friendly it is a user friendly how it is user friendly today i am using some version of android in that i am facing few issues so if you want to customize those features easily you can customize with respective of the studio automatically give alerts so based on those you can if you want you can update that so those all are the basic features of this means here so i think a uh, few people are not there initially just i want to summarize these points <clears throat> so initially Yes, today's agenda is we are discussing key features. The next followed by Android version wise features. So in these key features, first one is the multi language, and uh, it can means our mobiles can support for the multi language. The next is it can support for the web browsers. Means using the web kit, if you want, you can build the applications. And the next is the media support. So where it can support the multiple medias next is the live streaming it can support live streaming and additional hardware support like camera touch screen gps sensors etc and next it is multi touch and it can support for the bluetooth to connect iot and all video calling external storage and returning like hotspot wifi all right next these all are for end users from here it is related to the development so if you are the development related so it's a java and kotlin whatever the lang both languages are supporting features those it can be supported and the next is the messaging and the text and the media and it is a connectivity so whatever the connectivity we have like uh, wi-fi bluetooth 3g 4g such kind of our connectivities it can connect and it can be supported for the different resolutions and updated ui features always so free customizable and uh, google play store it will has lot of features and lot of benefits and user friendly environment to develop the applications so this is first topic uh, for today's it is completed then um coming into this point before coming into this point anyone have any concerns any questions on this re regarding this hope it is clear so i'm going to the next topic here so that is version wise features so yesterday we discussed uh, many versions first we'll start from the cupcake so i said initially before this cupcake there are two more versions but those all are not considering because those all are very basic features it has so this cupcake as it is released in a april so april 2009 so this feature as uh, this version as released in april 2009 so what are the features of this so in this version on screen soft soft keyboard introduced in this and auto rotation so first one it is here auto rotation what is auto rotation like nowadays if i am rotating the phone from landscape to portrait portrait to landscape automatically the videos and all rotating so that feature has started from here and also soft touch keyboard so here soft touch keyboard soft touch keyboard but on those days just we discussed on those days it will touch with the sticks so that touch screen has released here in this version and the next it is supporting for the just the auto rotation means it has supported for both modes one is the portrait 
other is the landscape. So it can support for the both portrait as well as the landscape. So the next. So what is the next here? Here uh, uh, in this copy paste option is available. Like right now, we are copy and paste the content wherever we want. But here, from this version, it is supporting the copy paste option. It is supporting for this. And the next is the introduce the widgets. Like now we are what we are uh, placing on uh, top of the screen, like watch, calendar. So such kind of widgets feature as introduced to from here, watch, calendar, etc. Like whatever they want to start that as a widget, they can use like media player, and uh, like other whatever the screen apps which you want to do that you can do this so these all are the features in this but why seeing these features maybe we think now those all are very small features why we are discussing means so here we are discussing from the scratch whatever the android as supporting all features we are discussing one by means how this has developed that we are discussing this so then next is the donut. So the next version, which is the, that is donut. So this is also released in the same year, but after six months, September 2009, this version has released. So what are the key features on this version? So in this version, the first key feature is quick search. Like in a contacts, maybe you can search. In a messages, maybe you can search. So like search functionality has introduced. So previously it was not there. In this version, it is introduced. The next uh, voice search, basic voice search also introduced here. Like now we are using the voice search in a different applications. So here basic voice search as added here. So basic voice search as added here. Next is the battery usage indicator. So battery usage indicator. Nowadays we are seeing that uh, we have 20 percent, 30 percent battery indicator. So that usage indicator it is showing that you have still uh, left to have 20 percent, 30 percent. So such kind of uh, benefit as introduced here is and faster OS boots. So initially. When we want to restart the phone, it is taking too much of time to restart this. That bug has resolved here. So it has uh, it has uh, faster compared to the older versions. The next year, uh, in a year from this version, so up to this version, we cannot have any applications in the Play Store. But from here, we can download the apps and the games from the Play Store, Google Play Store. The Play Store has introduced here. So here you can download apps and games from the Play Store. So from this version onwards. And the next is the Gertzer get get FX. So what is Gertzer? Gertzer FX means moving. Like when I'm playing a game, I can rotate uh, left, right automatically when we are playing the racing game. So automatically the vehicle is moving like that. So such kind of getcher effects are also introduced in this version. So these all are the benefits for, from this, this donut. The next version, which is, that is Eclair. So what is this Eclair? So this Eclair also released in the same year after one month of that. Means it's a on October, October 2009, it is released. So what are the key features of this? Here, it can support Bluetooth. As of now, Android is not supporting the Bluetooth. So from this version onwards, it is supporting to the Bluetooth. And next is here, typing speed has increased. So typing speed, initially when we want to type, it is a little bit slow because then this 
here we discussed about virtual keyboard as introduced so where we discussed that here keyboard as introduced so soft touch screen as introduced here keyboard virtual means on the top of the screen the keyboard as introduced so because of that keyboard users not able to touch i mean user not able to type that much of speed now that issue has resolved in this version also added here dictionary option while you are searching that dictionary so means while we are writing something it has giving the ints to correct the spelling so that in dictionary option as introduced here and the next here is calendar invites calendar invites like and nowadays we are adding the reminders to calendars birthdays meetings so that calendar reminders also introduced here this calendar reminders so the next is it is the here from this on version onwards here uh, it has supporting to the dynamic application dynamic application means like it which are communicating with the server as previously as of now whatever applications are static applications means you can install other application but that could be the static but from here now it is supporting to the dynamic application and the next is zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out feature as introduced here in a browser this is here it's a now we can zoom in zoom out images and all but here it's this feature is supported on only browser in this version and the next here they got one drawback it's not supporting for the adobe adobe flash media adobe flash media it is not supporting so this is the drawback here they got not supporting so this is about the eclair version so eclair version has released in 2009 so in this version we have major benefits like that is bluetooth typing speed increased dictionary calendar reminders and the dynamic applications zoom in zoom out feature but here it is not supporting to the adobe flash so then after this the next version as released in a market is froyo that is around after 6 months that is uh, 2010 may 2010 may so this is released in a market so immediately whatever the drawback as there means every version here the whatever the issues they are facing in a previous version they are overcoming that here like here also same first they concentrated on this adobe flash they succeeded with the adobe flash support so now from froyo onwards it is support it is supporting the adobe flash as well then from here multi touch just now we seen in a key features of that so that multi touch as introduced here in this 2010 may version that is in a proyo version the next here so day and night mode so based on the day and night mode your uh, brightness incremental and decremental feature as introduced in this so day and night so based on the day and night the brightness can be either decrease or increase that can be set at this so what happens with this if uh, day and night brightness automatically means it cannot affect to your eyes as well as it can reduce the battery usage as well so that feature as introduced in this version so again one more feature that is main and important encryption and the decryption process are so introduced in this version 
So what is encryption and decryption? See, means uh, some like uh, I created one uh, Gmail or whatever the mail I created. So then after I created a mail and all, so then what happens? Uh, I saved on my password as Raj123 or something ABC123. So if that same word, if I save in a database, then who is handling that application? They can able to see my password and they can able to log in into my account and they can do whatever the operations they want to do in my application, they can do. Then what is the solution for that? So for that, what we are doing, what we are doing here is so that for that we are coming with a different uh, case that is doing with the encryption means I enter one, two, three, four, five is my password. But while we are saving that, we are sending in an encryption format means user not understandable format that we are saving in a database. Then again, when I'm trying to log in that, also whatever I entered one, two, three, four, five only, then that can be encrypted and then it will go and it can search in a database. It can map that, okay, this is valid. Okay, you can log in. So like that, it is introducing in this. And the next one is, this is the crash report. What is this crash report? So when uh, my application in a Play Store, after the users are installed your application, so that unfortunately, it has crashed in some of some of my friend my, some of uh, phone. Why? Because Android has many many versions and uh, different manufacturers. So I have few. I have three to four different versions and different manufacturers. I tested th in those applications. It is working perfectly fine. Then. I uploaded the app in a store, then uh, users are installed, but it's unfortunately, it has not supported in some version. So then it has crashed. So that report automatically, uh, which are the Play Store account you created with the mail, you will receive a mail alert in the so-and-so phone, so-and-so reason, your application is not supporting on that. So what happens then I can resolve that issue and I can re-upload the application in a place. Too. So we are, means we can, uh, there is a scope to increase the users and uh, increase your app performance and this. The next it is this hotspot. So it can support the hotspot, means from this version onwards, the hotspot feature as introduced in this. And these are the features, okay. Again, here they got one issue, no internet calling. Here it is not supporting for the internet calling. Internet calling is nothing but, like nowadays what we are doing the internet calling, like WhatsApp call, so that we can say as a internet calling, but on those days it's a Skype and some other tools are there. So that is the issue with that case. So now the next version, which is the gingerbread. So gingerbread, this is the gingerbread as released in the same year that is in a 2010 only. It's almost in a month of December. In the month of December, this is released in the market. So this as in this version, majorly they concentrated on a UI. So major part the concentrated on a UI. So UI elements are updated here. Major UI elements are updated and high efficiency. Efficiency also increased. Efficiency also increased. UI as well as the efficiency has increased. 
and uh, next the previous what is the drawback that has overcome here so it can supporting to the internet calling so that issue has resolved here the next so it support to the third party keyboards as well so we can install the other third party keyboards which are available in a play store that keyboards also it can support third party keyboards we can in we can download and it can support the third party keyboards and the 3d motion like 3d images 3d motion sensors also supporting from this version 3d sorry motion sensors supporting from this version so this is supported for the 3d and the next is the not support for the here again uh, we got one more issue that is it not supporting for the multi core processor multi core processor so multi core processor means we know we have already an idea about the process like uh, i have uh, means uh, when we are buying that i5 i7 i3 so those are the processors so like those processors we are it's a major part of the any any device so that as here it is supporting but it's not supporting for the multi core plus so but why there is a specific reason so i'll explain you that specific reason in a next version because the next version they overcome this feature so that is in a honeycomb the next version is here honeycomb so this as introduced in 2011 in the month of february in the month of february almost after that one year more than one year this has released in a market so in this version it is supporting here it is supporting no here it's not supporting here it's supporting but why this much of time to resolve this issue here because as of now they are releasing the more features in a less span of time but here they took lot of time to resolve this issue why because from 2008 onwards they are releasing the different different versions in the market as we discussed yesterday so manufacturers are not showing an interest to come into the android but still they are going and they are going and they are uh, releasing the new versions and new versions so this as we discussed initially the sony has supported for this from the sony they are it is coming the only they are working on the specific hardware so that is because only one manufacturer is supporting for this so with that they are introducing the features one by one one by one with the same hardware then after they are releasing these many versions in almost in a 2000 end uh, 2010 end means almost we can say as the 2011 onwards the other manufacturers mobile device manufacturers are showing interest to download i mean use this android on their phones and then they got this multi core processor issue because every hardware company has their different processor support every manufacturer they are using the different process so then they got the issue then here they overcome that issue in this version and after that they are saying if you want to install your application you should come with the minimum of this requirements then it can support your processor it can support your hardware like this they introduced that version in 2011 february and from here it can as of now it is supported only for the mobiles 
now it is supported for the tabs as well from the honeycomb onwards it has supporting this the next is the action bar action bar introduced what is action bar like in our phones now we are scrolling from down scrolling from up so such kind of that things we can say as action bars so that action bar as introduced here in this question and here it is supporting for the live streaming it is supporting now from here live streaming previously just it is a internet calling that is a voice kind of calling now it is supporting for the live streaming as well so the next after this here only few features because they resolve the major, major issue that is multi core processor issue the next is the ice cream sandwich so after anikom that ice cream sandwich so that ice cream sandwich is introduced in a month of november 2011 so here home screen uh like uh home screen sense like in our screen we can uh, make it as a folder nowadays uh, we are making one folder in that folder we are placing multiple apps in that folder right so that feature has introduced here in this and virtual button and a keyboard we can uh, create a different virtual buttons and keyboard like whatever the menus we can we want to place and we want to move like that we can move from right to left left to right so such kind of feature as introduced in this version and ui sizes ui widgets means whatever the app icons which is displaying that can be supported for the ui widgets from third parties it can support from the widgets from the third parties it can support and the next is the uh like uh, sharing sharing kind of feature also introduced here so sharing feature also introduced here yeah sorry uh here so outside someone has a marriage they are playing just they started this music because of that it's uh, voice is jumbling like that So okay in uh, next a few minutes i'm closing the space session we'll continue that next one so yeah this is a live streaming this kind of this and the next in this it can support for the data sharing we can share the data from one mobile to other mobile so that feature has introduced in this so with this uh, because this uh, here my side sound also increasing so from jelly beans onwards uh, we can see in the next class so as of now anyone has any questions here i hope uh, everyone has clear these questions so regularly uh, normally our classes will from Uh, monday to saturday but this is the first week maybe few people will join from the monday because of that tomorrow we don't have a class so again we will meet on monday from the monday we will continue the next sessions so in the next week once uh, the people has confirmed i'll share you the this material whatever we are discussing in a class so that we are will share that so someone will ask this uh, yes we are discussing here back end uh, means front end back end means we are discussing about the dynamic applications if any web service is there how we are communicating with the web services that we can discuss here so app means we specifically we not uh, completely develop the app means uh, here whatever the concepts related to the application development all different different concepts we will discuss means uh, not complete uh, doing a project kind of thing that you can't expect here but whatever the application 
I'll show you the complete structure of the application here because a development should be the different. Yeah, we can build e-commerce application also. We can build e-commerce application. We can build the like a banking application. All kind of applications are possible. If someone wants such kind of uh, these things, so if you want a guidance kind of thing, definitely I'll share you the guidance. So here, uh, yeah, different architectures, MVC, MVVM, such kind of architectures also, I'll give you the uh, examples of this class. So any other questions from anyone? So, yeah, this already, I, I think uh, you are the today first class. Anyone here today's first class? So, what uh, I already shared the data binding, those kind of all data, whatever the syllabus, I hope you all received the syllabus copy from these people. So, that I'm covering the all latest topics data binding and uh, all these things. Yes, definitely. It's uh, if you want to go with the uh, certifications, na, you need this. So yes, based on this, you can start the Google certification next after this course. So they will give the regularly task like it is a 90 days process. Every day they will give the tasks. So if you are aware of these things, easily you can build the tasks from there. Okay, so any other questions? Okay, guys, uh, we'll meet again on Monday, 9 p.m. Thank you. Hi, good evening. So I'm sharing my screen. So in last class, uh, we discussed about uh, Android version wise features. So that uh, continuation will do now. So let me share the notepad. So in last class, uh, we discussed the majority of the version uh, issue I means uh, features as well as some drawbacks of uh, each version those we discussed so uh, i think up to the uh, jelly beans we discussed so jelly beans we discussed <clears throat> now sorry not jelly beans up to honeycomb we discussed now we'll concentrate up from the next version onwards. So that is jelly beans. So this jelly beans as introduced in the market, it's a 2012. In the month of June, this as introduced in the market. So in this, the first feature is autocomplete. So what is autocomplete? So nowadays, we are using mostly this feature. So like autocomplete per dial pad. See now, I already called someone in the past one hour or two days back, three days back. <clears throat> when I'm trying to type message, no, sorry, when I'm trying to type number, automatically it shows from our recent contacts. So that is the autocomplete. So that feature has introduced here in this. And the next other feature here is smoother UI. So smoother UI as updated here. So the UI updated here. Because UI updation has done. Then next from here, it is supporting for the multi-language. Previous versions could not support multi-language. From here, this has supporting to the multi-language. And the next feature, is location previously also their location but here accuracy added on a location 
So you need accuracy. Like maybe in the previous it was showing like a random exact, it's not showing. But right now from this version onwards, it has more accuracy from this. So this version, it has only few features. So that's it. So it's a jelly beans introduced in 2012. And it has here, it introduced autocomplete text to view. Then it's a smoother interface and multi-language location accuracy has updated here. This is done. Next version is the KitKat. So this KitKat version released after one year, that is in 2013, September, in the month of September, this has released. So here, the features are battery management, Right now, what we are meaning the battery, like uh, we need to set the night mode, day mode. And uh, if we want uh, after certain, uh, means certain battery range, uh, if we need alerts kind of thing, so that can be handled here. That is a battery management option as introduced. Then after that, uh, okay, Google option, okay, Google feature. Right now we are using okay, Google. Please open like means okay Google voice comments. Voice comments are introduced from this version. So the next is the cloud printer. So now right now we are using the using this uh, smartphone itself means using Android phone itself. We are uh, we are connecting and we are introducing we are uh, indicating that means we are taking the print through mobile. So that feature is also introduced here in this. And the next one is here, multitasking. Like multitasking, it's a multitasking feature as introduced in this version. Like the response faster when we are acting, when we are performing any kind of action, it is responding fast. Touch is more accurate. And so that it can be having the multiple things can be done at the same time, like browsing, listening music. And while you are uh, playing a game, you can do some other music in the background. So such kind of multiple things you can handle that means one in the background, other is here, like I'm downloading movie uh, while downloading, I'm playing a game at the same time, I'm listening to music. So such kind of activities you can perform here in this version. So this is, a Kit Kat. The next version is here, Lollipop. So in this Lollipop, so this is the, here this as introduced in 2014 in the month of October. So 2014 October, this Lollipop version has introduced. So here the major change, as of now, Android is the 32 bit support operating system. But from here, it is supported as a 64-bit architecture. So, so completely, the architecture has changed here. The complete architecture has updated here. So that is a 64-bit architecture has updated here. This. So in this version, there are no major features they concentrated, only updated the complete architecture. So from this version onwards, it can support for the TVs, supports to TVs, watch. So means small resolution and high resolution. And the next is the cars also, it will support. So these are all the features as introduced in this. And here, some more securities are updated because of the architecture. So 64-bit architecture, definitely it is getting the more security. So more securities has introduced here this introduced the next you know, here you can create uh, your own rules like device settings quick menu optimization like when we scroll up to uh, from the top or the bottom so we are accessing quick menus right so that quick menu settings and all also we can update here we can get this update here this next version here it is next version is Marshmallow. So next version is the Marshmallow. So this Marshmallow 
is introduced in the month of May. In the month of May, two zero one five. So, two thousand fifteen, it has introduced in this. So, what are the updates in this version? So, in this version, updates. So, the design and visual changes are updated here. Majorly, the concentrated based on the sixty-four bit architecture design and visual changes. Visual changes are. updated here so updated here visual changes are updated here means this thing and the next version here is this uh, next year visual changes are updated here so match malo it is in a 2015 visual changes and okay google option it is introduced in a earlier version but it is introduced in a home page previously it is inside of that when you go and open that it is working fine now it is introduced in a home page from home page automatically it can work in this and the next is this file explorer feature has introduced file explorer so file explorer means file manager so that feature as of now that feature is not there uh, from android side the manufacturers are giving their customized file explorer so now that has introduced here in this file explorer so where we can access the audio type video type uh, image such kind of all the files we can access that feature has introduced here this and the next is the better indicator status like battery indicator or other any statuses which better indicator statuses is added here so it will give the better statuses to the user so it is giving this this feature is giving introduced here in this and the next here after this one more feature extra securities added here so what are the extra securities so like permissions permission what is permission so right now when we are installing any application simply that application is asking that please allow contacts permission please allow other camera permission internal storage permissions like that it is asking the number of permissions but initially it is it was this was not asking those permissions without asking those permissions it could took your data from there but now it is asking the user permission why because the security has introduced here this see if i am i am i mean in, i am installing one application that is related to the tutorials or that is related to the some kind of a newspaper kind of thing so for reading the news or reading the tutorial application if that application has asks your contacts permission or your camera permission so such kind of permissions if that can be asked that is a not a proper application why because to read articles to read the news why that is needed so that is why that is needed so that is a not a agreeable thing so because of that it should not be the proper app that is so because of that the reason now this has introduced initially see like the same lot of applications which are taking the initially the true color as of now it is very popular but initially the true color people also taking the data like that only so i saved your number in my mobile with a b c d name as of now your mobile number has not registered with true color then it will display as a b c d until you register with your mobile number on this so like that this uh, people are taking the data from the users without user approvals so because of the reason from this marshmallow onwards run time permissions are added means if user likes that information you will give that information if user won't like that you won't allow that permission to that so that is a 
securities. This is the major securities as introduced in this version. So only these are the features. The next version is the Nagout. So Nagout, it is a Nagout is means it's a 7.0. So this as introduced in a 2016 in the month of June. 2016 in the month of June. So here the majority of the features as there. So compared to the previous version, because last three or four versions only it has three features, four features like that. But here some of the more features as introduced. So the first one is the better battery optimization, means better power optimization. So power optimization as introduced here. So it is a power life has improved compared to the previous. So when mobile is an ideal, it also used a very rare percentage. Means if you are using a mobile, it is using the battery. Even in a previously, even if it is ideal also, it is consuming the more battery. Right now, from this version, it has reduced that here. So the next one is the better notification control. So what is better notification control? So better notification control in sense. So this has here uh, some applications uh, regularly sending the notifications to the user, like shopping cart, banking, for those users to increase the performance in everything. So for those people, easy interaction, so easy interaction uh, for the using Firebase interaction all. And when I'm scrolling from the top to bottom, when I'm scrolling from the top to bottom, so simply sim simply my simplify manner, it shows that uh, three messages from two contacts and two messages from three contacts like that, it is showing that means from A, the message uh, high, from B, message B like, it is showing that from A contact, two messages from B contact, three messages. So such kind of uh, easy notification data is showing this. The next is the data saver. So what is data saver? So from this version onwards, it is a device won't consume the more uh, data for the background processes. So the data also means our mobile data, whatever mobile data or Wi-Fi. So this won't consume means mobile is in ideal stage. It is not consuming the background data. When your mobile is inactive, then only it is consuming the data. So it will be like uh, some data saving option is here. The next is the quick menu. So in my mobile, everyone are accessing the quick menu settings. So like uh, some mobiles is from, if you scroll from top to bottom, we will get the quick menu. For some mobiles, if you scroll from the bottom to right, bottom to top, we'll get the quick menu. So such quick menus as introduced here, so that uh, we can uh, go inside of those with easy navigation. So those all are introduced in this. Next one is here, enabled power notification. So power notifications as enabled. So what is the meaning of this power notifications? Like uh, if your battery is uh, less, or it is consuming this more data. So such kind of uh, more battery, so such kind of alerts it will give. Like your battery is 20%, you need to charge your battery is 10%, like that, it is giving the options like this. The next is the copy paste option. So initially also the copy paste option is available, but here copy paste in a GP split. So what is GP split? Jiffy split means uh, like just touch. here if it is a uh, more pages if it is a uh, more pages so Jiffy splits here if it is like this I want to like this means in the mobile if you want like this also you can select that means here one up arrow one down arrow will come in between of that we can select the text 
So that we can say as a GP split. So that kind of data, you can copy and paste this anywhere. And here, next version is here, change the display size. So what is the display size? So display size. Here, like display size, if you want to adjust the font, like someone can view the small font, someone cannot view the small fonts. So such kind of fonts management has introduced in this. If you want font size is a bigger, you can select the bigger. If you want small font size as a small, you can adjust that small font size. So such feature has introduced in this version here. So the next is here, app shortcuts. So what is app shortcuts? So if I'm using regularly WhatsApp or if I'm using something else app regularly for that app, shortcut I can create in a home page instead of going all apps and again searching for that so instead of that in a home page itself means while unlocking itself what is the page as open that we can say as a home page so on the home page we can create the shortcut for the specific application so that we can access quickly such applications so that is a app shortcut. So that feature as introduced here. So the next is the pin apps to share menu. Right now, if you want to share any content and all, just by clicking the share, it open all the applications which are applicable to the share menu. So that we can say as the share menu. So here we can easily see those kind of all applications and we can able to share those applications in here. So means uh, if I want to send one document, once I click on share, it says that uh, email, WhatsApp, if you have a, what are the social medias, if you have that, so it shows that. So from there you can send that, but that particular document to any other people this. Next one he is here, enhanced file manager feature. So the file manager feature as introduced already in the lower version that is in a 5.0. So the same it is has introduced here again for the new means some more features are introduced in this like uh, like uh, for, uh, for text size, uh, if you open that particular application, specific size, I means uh, uh, audio file, video file, so such kind of all activities it is showing. So that is the enhanced file manager feature is introduced here. Next is the mono audio. So mono audio playback. Like uh, nowadays we are using uh, Bluetooth devices. So even though if it is a single jack device also, it can support all kind of previously, if it is a headset, until you connect uh, both, uh, both the hairs, it could not be proper sound and all. So that has overcome here. So easily user can uh, listen and uh, you can manage the calls, everything with a uh, single jack also, you can do that. So that is, we can say as a mono video this. So this is for a single user, we can manage easily with this. Next one is the emergency info. So what is this emergency info? So emergency info is the work here can work uh, like, uh, I'm on a road, I struck it somewhere, I have some emergency, Maybe someone is attacking on me. So then what I'll do directly, I press that emergency button on my phone. So that along with my location, battery percentage, everything, that message will go to the specific contacts. Means initially I can save the data when I am in emergency. I want to send the message to the 
my father, my brother, like that I can say three or four contacts. So then what happens? Once I'm in an emergency, by clicking that, automatically the specific message, specific thing will go to the people who are in this. Means who are on the list, they can receive messages. So you are a uh, so -so person is in emergency in this location. So they can track that location and they can reach that specific area. So that is the emergency info that feature as introduced here in this version. So, so next is the view shortcuts. View shortcuts. Shortcuts with physical keyboards. Sorry. View shortcuts with physical keyboard. So, like uh, tabs and all, we can connect small physical keyboards. When you connect the physical keyboards, you can use the shortcuts which we are using in our laptop or desktop. Like a copy paste, copy, control V, control C, control V, paste, control V, like that. Whatever the shortcuts here we are using, no, those shortcuts also. You can use when your you mobile as connected to the physical keyboards. Next is the one bonus feature that we can say as bonus feature that is a night mode. So night mode is the bonus feature for this. So this as introduced here. So the brightness of the screen based on the day and night automatically can adjust. So these are the features in version 7 that is a knockout. So here, these many features because just now I told in the previous versions, so there are uh, small, small features, but here it has the more features. So that is one is the battery optimization, better notification control, data saver, arranging quick settings menu, enable power notification, copy paste option in a GP split, and a change display size, app shortcuts, and a pin app to the share menu. Next one is a enhanced file manager, and a mono audio player, emergency info. So the next is the view shortcuts in a physical keyboard. And final is the bonus feature that is a night mode as enabled in this version. So this is basically it has uh, almost all features up to this. From this version onwards, the next versions which we are like Android 8.0, 9.0, 10.0, each version has I have more features. So it has uh, around uh, each version like a minimum of 10 up to 25 features as also have each version. So there are various changes has happened in these versions. So one more thing here I want to cover in this Android 7 also there are two versions. One is 7.0 7.0 so that is introduced here in 2006 June. Then immediately in August, after one month gap, again, it's a release 7.1 version because 7.0 has some drawbacks. So that uh, like uh, those are the showstoppers. Like unfortunately the phone is crashing. So such kind of uh, some drawbacks are there because of that immediately they released after one month, one more version that is 7.1. Means 7.0 is not a static version. 7.1 is the static version. So that is, so that is the reason this as almost there in a, 7.0 is there almost in a year in a market. So after that, the next version came in a market that is Oreo 8.0. So that is again August 2017, exactly after one year of the previous version it has introduced. So in this version, in a one year gap, lot of features. 
almost we can say more than 20 features so almost 20 features but some of the features are updated to the previous versions already the whatever the previous versions we have so for those it is updated this one is the redesigned uh, redesigned so redesigned settings menu so previously the setting menu is the different from this version the setting menu is the different so how this is redesigned completely here it's a redesigned customize uh, that as per the requirement means manufacturer can customize not user side manufacturers who are the manufacturers because they want to attract the users they can customize that settings menu next is the file manager revamped file manager the file manager is already introduced from the version previous version so again here it is revamped means some more features are added in file explorer so to make work properly it is added here next is the battery saving this is also previous version it has already introduced battery saving in a background processes so background processes so here also it is so these are already we discussed in the last version because of that i am not going deeply wherever the new feature will come i'll come with the detail and the next is the snooze snooze notifications so this is centered like now i am in a meeting or i am in a class i got one notification so then if i read that message i forgot that to reply now or maybe i forgot that feature to reply that so but if there is option called snooze if i click on the snooze after 15 minutes automatically that should give a pop up as a new notification so that i can reply after 15 minutes like that so that is a feature introduced in this next is the fingerprint one more is security as introduced here that is a fingerprint option is mandatory from this version onwards previously the fingerprint option is there but that should be from the manufacturer side so they should allow that kind of uh, what we can say that kind of hardware support but now from this version onward it is mandatory to update that next is the turn on wifi automatically turn on wifi automatically see arm this is the feature automatically how it can turn on means based on mobile location automatically turn on wifi at link like wherever i am saving in case if i am outside automatically after certain time 5 minutes or 10 minutes my wifi automatically off then once i reach the specific location auto automatically it can start why because if continuously i am outside also if my wifi is continuously checking the wifi is available wifi is available, it consumes some battery so to save the battery so this feature has introduced here this and the next is the more colors so for that this is feature for developers so while developers are choosing this they can choose a more number of colors initially it was with the rgb but right now it has introduced with the more features here in this next is the picture in picture mode so picture in picture mode what is picture in picture mode like now if in is a facebook kind of thing or whatsapp when i am scrolling down so what is the video that is playing it goes, goes the right side of the window or bottom of the window then automatically i can uh, read that so that feature we can say as the picture in picture mode that so that kind of when you are developing in a video kind of application that feature you can use this next is the autofill autofill framework like now browserly browser regularly i'm uh, using some kind of activity to fill the forms so when i'm trying to do the next activity so automatically it shows the ends so like uh, 
entering the address, credit card, debit card information. So such kind of fields, it can be shows that. So the next is the rescue factory, rescue party. So this is already uh, we, we discussed in the older version that is emergency info that has updated here with the, some of the features so that we can say as a here rescue and the notifications. So initially just we discussed about the notifications in the previous version, like uh, it is showing that in, in its previously it was showing that uh, two messages, but how many contacts we don't know. But here we can decide that how many contacts from how many people like I received the two notifications from two persons like A, hi, B, hello. Like it shows that while I'm scrolling that A, hello, B, hi. Even from there, if you want to give, if you want to, if you want to reply to the specific person also, you can reply from there. So that feature has introduced here this, that is a notification this. And the next one, it is here, adaptive app icons. Adaptive app icons means we can change in our settings. There is a menu introduced. So there, if you want, you can change the menu style shapes to like oval, square, circle, such kind of uh, feet, uh, we can change this. So that is introduced here, this. Next is the Bluetooth range has introduced, increased. Bluetooth range increased. So this range is increased from 100 meters to more than 100 meters. It is in the, around 150, it has introduced in this. Next is the tab navigation. So what is tab navigation? So it's a for user friendly in a single page, like here, like this, I can switch tab by tab like this. So one tab to other tab, other tab to one tab like this. You, if you want, you can switch tab to tab that has introduced here in this. So the tab navigation has introduced in this. And the next is the Wi-Fi aware. So this Wi-Fi aware means like when I'm uh, uh, moving on the roadside, so in case any open network is available in the specific area, it gives an alert, uh, free Wi-Fi is available. If you want to connect, you can connect. So such kind of, it is giving this. Next is the notification budgets. Like we can see in our WhatsApp now, right? So while I've received the five notification, it says that on the top of the app icon, five messages to, Mr. Calls to so such kind of here it is giving this here. And the next is the no more unknown resources. So what is unknown resources? So the applications which are not from the Play Store, if you want to install from the third parties, it we card as an unknown resources. So yeah, the unknown resources as introduced previously. Uh, in unknown resource in settings, unknown resources that we can, if you want to resource to it accept by type of the APK. But now it won't accept from the unknown resources. It can accept from the official stores only. If you want to that, first you can accept specific every time, then you can allow this. Previously, once you given that, automatically it cannot ask next time. Automatically it is giving the alerts. So the next is this, uh, this is for the manufacturers. While your for phone is booting, it gives, it gives as a powered by. Initially it was powered by, uh, powered by Android, but now powered by XYZ. If you want uh, your company name, you can put that powered by. So that feature is introduced here. This. Next is the sticky notes. Sticky notes. So we know the sticky notes. Like if you want to restart the sticky note, if you restart your, see, this is a sticky notes. Even if you restart your laptop also, whatever the here, if you write, that can be available here. Means it cannot close even until you close that. So that kind of any notes, if you want, you can write here, it can be available here. That is. 
just I'm closing this. So this can be available here like this, even though if we close that also. So that we can say as a sticky note. So that feature has introduced here. Next is the emojis. So we know the emojis. Emojis is nothing but here. Like while I'm chatting, we can get some kind of uh, alerts, notification, like a smiley icons that we can say as a smiley icon. So that features here we can introduce. So that is introduced here in this. So in this Oreo, I already said that like it's around 20 features. So these are the 20 features uh, from the Oreo side. So the next we have three, four, three more versions to discuss uh, features. So, but uh, because of the theoretical class, until theoretical class, we'll spend a little bit lesser time, not one hour exactly, we'll spend a little bit lesser time. So, by tomorrow, after tomorrow, we'll close this features related thing. After that, we will concentrate on the installation part. So, any questions from today's session? Okay, so then uh, we'll meet tomorrow 9 p.m. Thank you. Yeah, so just uh, before starting this session, just I want to introduce myself. So myself, Rajshekar, I have 12 plus years of experience in IT. So this is a development as well as the trainings. So coming into the, our uh, today's session. So this session related to Android. So maybe uh, you people are joined here around the 10 people. So you know about this word Android, right? So anyone have any inputs on this? What is Android? What you know about Android? Anyone? Just you can unmute and uh, if you have any answer, can someone? Yeah, I think someone has uh, sent in a chat. So it's a mobile voice operating system. Okay, so just I'll write the your words with I agree with your words mobile OS. So it's the same operating system. Someone said this operating system. It is correct. <clears throat> so operating system. Then someone said that uh, developed by Google. You find chat planes. Okay. So you copy this word. So it has many versions. Okay. It has many versions built on Java. Okay. Okay. So I got good inputs from the team. <clears throat> so why I'm collecting this information from you? Because nowadays it's not a new word. Why? Because almost 80% of the people are using Android devices. Because everyone who is having now a smartphone, either it could be Android or iPhone. But iPhone are in our India, iPhone are using in between of 10 to 15% of people, but remaining other all using Android. Even if uh, someone has iPhone, they may have the spare of Android phone. So you are not clear my voice? Now it is clear? Now it is clear? Okay. I hope uh, now it is clear. So this is fine. So here, this is a uh, first time coming into this Android world. 
So Android is an operating system. First word is it's an operating system. And the next is the open source. Open source. Next it is development environment. Simply with words, general with general words, I'm giving you the definition of the Android so that uh, easily you can remember the definition of Android. So Android is an operating system. It is a open source. Using this, we can build applications. Initially, applications are for mobile, but right now, applications are for mobiles, tablets, watch, cars, lot of, lot of equipments are coming nowadays. So as day by day it is going on, lot of electronic gadgets are coming with Android operating system. So next word, I want to write one more thing. Linux kernel. So it is run on top of the Linux kernel. So what is that each word in definition? Just you first you remember the only four words, but each word I will give elaboration of each word. So Android is an operating system. Using this, we can build applications. It's open source. Always it is running on the top of the Linux kernel. Means in each phone, is there any Linux? Means no. It is internally or the, opera, the architecture of the Android as built on the top of the Linux kernel. Linux kernel is the similar part of Linux, which like, uh, see, my right now my laptop is running with the Windows operating system. Like uh, someone has the Mac, Mac, uh, it's uh, operating system is a Mac OS. And someone has using Linux. Like that kind of operating system, it's a top of the same similar architecture it has built. So when we are discussing about a uh, architecture of Android, there we will discuss in detail of Linux kernel, how it's built on top of the Linux kernel. So that we will see this. So then uh, next thing here. So simply here we got a uh, idea. Android is an operating system. It is uh, using this, we can build mobile apps that suitable for mobiles, tablets, then uh, watch, cars, autos, lot of electronic gadgets. It's running on the top of the line. But who is the owner for this? So right now, this is acquired by Google. But there are some other people in the background so that we will see in a, our coming session because we need to understand the Android history. On the history, we can go in detail, means from where this has started and how this acquired by Google, like those kind of details we'll discuss there on the, this. So next here. So I uh, have one question to everyone here. So why you want to learn this course? Any specific reason for anyone why you came for this course? Anyone? Okay, job. Love building up.
next any other answers from anyone so kotlin is a new language to explore it okay next any other answers from anyone for the first one who has here said someone said the job so job so if i learn java can i get the job or not so obviously yes if i learn java or if i learn python if i learn dot net any any technology if you learn because every technology has opportunities in a market but why you want to go with this so there are few specific reasons for this so means apart from this see first one i agree with your answer that is a job so someone said that sir kotlin is a new language so we need to explore it that is that also i agree with you because it's a new language so we need to learn uh, new things on this that also i agree but here so if i i i already learned uh, java then i am working on java so only i can work on that java but here what i what i'll do in case if i learn and write uh, so either it could be uh, with the java or kotlin so what what is the differences between those uh, will come uh, after few minutes but if you learn this and write so there is another uh, opportunity you can build your own applications like uh, if you go in a play store you have lot of things so that uh, duration part and all i'll uh, come with after few minutes i'll come with that point so here if you can uh, learn this you can build your own applications and you can publish those applications in a play store so if i publish applications in a play store what are the benefits for us what are the benefits for us is there any benefits if i po if i publish apps in a play store obviously yes but what are the advantages so one advantage is you can improve your skills on a coding style one is that improve the skills only improve the skills is enough no 